Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome to a new video and daily update almost, or at least I covered this yesterday as well on the, on Barn Bridge or Bones. We'll, we'll just call it Bones in this uh, in this video. Uh, the newest manipulated crypto, which uh, it is probably manipulated. All right. Um, and I throw that word around a whole lot. So if you're new to the channel, don't be spooked out about it. Uh, but if you take a look at it right now, you'll see that most of the volume is coming from sources, or not most of it, but a significant part is coming from Buybox, SuperX, Bitfavo, which usually are sources of manipulation. And then apart from that, Bar Barnbridge is also a dead project, all right? Um, the last time they, they tweeted something was the 7th of July. So um, yeah, here you can see they also got sued uh, by the SEC. So that's not great. Project is probably dead. So there's no reason why it would pump. And the price action is also shady. Now, does that matter? No, you can still make money on this. And what we've also seen with Binance is that Binance actually, uh, if we can take a look at that like this, uh, will list perpetual futures on bond uh, today. I think that is, I think it's uh, later, this, uh, later this afternoon. So that also causes and that caused more bullish momentum after bond was already bullish so you could argue that the bullish momentum we're seeing right now is actually justified uh, but all right we'll do a full analysis yesterday i covered this this as well what i said then is that bond was basically stuck between five dollars and, uh, and 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 3.5 in this uh, in this yellow box right here and that uh, whichever broke first would determine the next movements it broke about five dollars and then my uh, then the scenario was that it would go up to 6.5 and i also said that the most likely scenario probably was that we would continue up to to 6.5 now analyzing bonds is a little bit more difficult and the main reason for that is that uh, all right binance is listing them now on perpetual futures uh, by bit will probably follow as well and all the other major exchanges but right now we don't really have statistics on open interest, which I always love to use to kind of see how far along a crypto is. Uh, and we don't have that. We do, do have the volume and the volume is still amazing. The volume has dropped down a little bit since, um, since 8 a.m. So in the last two hours, which is a bit of an indication of a loss of momentum, but not that much. Because if you take a look at the, take a look at the, at, at the technicals right now, bond is still very bullish all right there's there's really not that much bearish confirmation on bond right now uh this earlier this morning it also broke above 5.5 which is you know that was a minor resistance level just above five dollars as well so um i'm not trading bond and i would advise you to also not trade bond because it is manipulated and those uh, manipulators will make money and uh, retail will lose money but at this point in time it just looks like the most likely scenario that it will continue up where there's a little bit of resistance at like seven dollars but i think the major resistance is between 7.5 and eight dollars so i would say that's the most likely scenario you should be careful though because sometimes a binance futures listing also causes a little bit of a uh, buy the news sell or a buy the rumor sell the news effect so that it's bullish before it's listed and then once it's listed it drops down but um but yeah no for now for now it's still bullish all right so we have to say that bond will continue up to 7.5 and eight dollars and then it's even possible that it will like i've seen rallies like these it's even possible that it will rally up to ten dollars and 10.5 dollars but that depends on how it reacts to 7.5 and eight dollars if bond wants to get up there it should find barely any resistance at 7.5 and eight dollars so if that happens it can rally up higher. It's not what I expect for now, but it's a possibility. Uh, so that's my uh, that that's my most likely scenario. And I like like I said, be careful, all right? Because in the end, it is manipulated. It could crash at any point of time. I'm 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 telling you that I think it's more likely that it will go up because there's no indication yet of it crashing. But if you see the volume dropping down massively and the price drops down below six dollars, for example, be careful, all right? That's what I wanted to end on. I also have my own premium group if you're new to the channel uh, slash signal group in which I share my own trades as signals. Uh, but you also gain access to an amazing community of traders and my own trading guide. So if that sounds interesting, uh, consider joining. Links will be down in the description or in the pinned comment. For now, enjoy your weekend. Take care and bye.